You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and today I have the pleasure to have Steve Bernard here. Thank Thanks, you. Good Steve. Good to see you, Mark. Steve As is always. representing the NAACP, and he has been involved in a very important issue in Brockton. I, how many years now, Steve? Four years. Okay. Four years since 1915. Uh, we were introduced uh, to the uh, prostate cancer crisis that, that exists in uh, Brockton and Plymouth County. Uh, the, we have the largest incidence of uh, prostate cancer of any county in, this, in the state, in, Brock, in Brockton uh, uh, males, black and white, uh, yellow, brown, are at risk. Well, it's something that guys don't really like to talk about. That's still true. They don't want to get checked. They don't want to do it. But you've created awareness around this, NAACP and the Admi Tech Foundation with Dr. Mm -hmm. Sterner. Dr. Stern. Dr. Stern. Stern. We have a three-way partner, uh, partnership. Yep. The Admi Tech Foundation, uh, the CEO and president is Dr. Stern. Uh, Good, Samaritan, Good Samaritan Medical Center mm -hmm. uh, and the NAACP have, have joined to uh, uh, bring Prostate Cancer Awareness Day. Of course, uh, the month of September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. And we're the in actual, September. Yeah, the whole month of September. Okay. And, the week we're actually in nationally, we're actually in, in the midst of uh, uh, Prostate Cancer Awareness Week. Uh, no, actually, I think it's the 17th to the, to the 24th is okay. the official week. But we, are, we have an event that's scheduled for Thursday, September 27th okay. uh, to be held uh, at the Good Samaritan Medical Center. It's at the Moakley Conference Center uh, from 6 to 8 p.m. It's open to the public, and we encourage both men and women to attend because prostate cancer is a family crisis. Well, it's also, if the women attend, they're going to get their man to yes. go to the doctor and get it checked out <laughs> because we all know generally it takes women go woman, to yeah. doctors more than men go to doctors. Absolutely. Statistically. Ab okay? Absolutely. If it wasn't for my wife, I wouldn't be at the doctors as much as, as I've been. You know, we're pretty stubborn. Good Samaritan is a great partner. So is the Admi Tech Foundation. What, mm -hmm. do, what should we expect? First of all, it's free. Guest speakers and dinner will be provided. And dinner says, will right? be provided. And they right. do good food over at Good Sam. I, so I'm told. You know, so they, told. they have uh, chefs that work there. <laughs> John Oliver, when he was president over there, when they first started redoing the hospital, mm -hmm. he wanted good quality food there. Good, good. Okay, I used to go eat. When I visited Dad, I'd eat in the cafeteria. Or I'd bring the meal upstairs. So we're bragging about hospital food. <laughs> yeah, it's actually good. It, they actually do a good job. Good Samaritan is a wonderful community partner. That's they truly good. are. So, so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna serve dinner. The capacity of the uh, the Moakley Center is, is uh, approximately 70 people. Okay. So we are encouraging people to register uh, uh, and uh, register uh, by calling 508-427-2753. Uh, visit uh, Good Samaritan medicalcenter.org, that's G-O-O-D-S-A-M-A-R-I-T-A-N-M-E-D-I-C-A-L.org slash prostate health. With a hyphen in there. With a hyphen prostate between health. prostate uh, and, and we're going to put it health. up on the screen so they can oh, see that's, it. That's we're also going to give this link to you for the NAACP web Facebook so okay. you can post it. Right. So it won't just be on cable, it'll mm -hmm. be on our Facebook. We'll put it on our Facebook. We'll put it on TV, That's and then we'll good. give it to you guys. Okay? It's, going to be a, it's going to be a wonderful uh, and, and informative evening. Uh, we're going to have professionals. Uh, uh, if I may, I'll tell you who will, who will be there. Uh, the presenters will be Dr. Stern, who is a medical imaging radiologist by profession, and she is the president and CEO of AdmiTech Foundation. Dr. Ingoff Turk is the Chief of Urology at St. Elizabeth Medical Center and a Professor of Urology at uh, Tufts University School of Medicine. We'll have Dr. Jason Zals, Medical Director, Cancer Program and Radiation, Radiation Oncologist at Good Samaritan Medical Center. And Dr. Richard McArdle, who's a urologist uh, at Good Samaritan Medical Center, uh, he is retired, but a very popular uh, uh, urologist, and uh, many people may know him. They know him personally. In addition, of course, we'll have our president, uh, Phyllis Ellis. She will be the MC for the for the evening. 
Brockton Mayor Bill Carpenter will make a short presentation, along with uh, Senator Michael Brady and uh, State Representatives Claire Cronin and Jerry Cassidy, who have been very influential in, uh, in securing funds on a statewide basis uh, for a prostate cancer crisis that, that exists for all men at, uh, at risk. In addition to that, we will have uh, a number of people who are prostate cancer survivors tell their story, their testimony, and you'll find that very interesting. Sounds like an all-star cast to me. I'm going to, I'm going to vouch for two of those doctors. They were my father's doctors. Oh, really? Dr. Oh. Zalls, mm -hmm. specifically. Yeah. And back in the day, Dr. McCardo, and even though Dr. McCardo retired as a urologist, mm -hmm. he came back to do wound care. So sure. my, my dad, that was when my dad, they would get to talking. And <laughs> we, I, hey, I got to get on to the next appointment. But uh, very compassionate men, both mm -hmm. of them, that really care about their patients and were there for their patients. I mean, my father finally got me to go because McArdle was his doctor, so right? I went to his doctor. That's good. Back in, back in, I gotta, I gotta go back though, because I'm dealing with friends right now mm -hmm. that are going through this, whether they're going through actual radiation or chemo, because they, they have, they didn't necessarily do mm -hmm. what you're advising to do. You know, one of, one of the, uh, one of the things that Admitech Foundation does and what separates them from other prostate cancer groups is uh, research, uh, and particularly uh, uh, research on uh, radiology and uh, imaging, and uh, finding less invasive ways to determine whether a man has, uh, has, has mm -hmm. uh, cancer of, uh, of the prostate. Uh, and this is very, this is very important. Uh, uh, so. They're on the cutting edge. They have an annual summit uh, every year. They bring doctors in from around the world uh, to, uh, to brainstorm. Is that uh, the FEN summit, P-H-E-N? It's like I, I got a notice for that. I, once I started covering this event, mm -hmm. all of a sudden I got to start getting emails. You're getting, getting emails. And right. I think that's the summit you're talking about. Prob prob probably so. I'm, I'm not certain of what the exact name is it without having to okay. cheat and go through this information. That's but okay. We you're have, very have, well have prepared. All, all I'm going to commend you. Uh, you, will, you, will, you will know uh, so, uh, a number of the uh, people who will be, be giving uh, testimony. Uh, I don't know if it's appropriate to know. I didn't get the permission to give, no, give we'll, their we'll, names. We'll, but, but we want them to go. Yes. We want them to go. Mm -hmm. We are going to cover it, mm -hmm. but you're better off going That's because right. it's a different experience if you go in person than if you see it on TV. Mm -hmm. we're, we're there to mm -hmm. get it on for the people that couldn't get there That's or right. the people that might have been a little shy about going there mm -hmm. because, again, you know, it's not like the topic of conversation. You're That's trying right. to make it. A topic of conversation and make people aware. And I, you know, I we're commend finding, you. We're finding it very difficult. You, uh, the excellent segue. We're finding it very difficult to get people to come out uh, to these uh, these seminars for for the reasons that you've stated. The, the people are, are, are shy. They don't. They don't want to. Maybe they don't want to expose the fact that they they are, are, are troubled. Right. Uh, or it, uh, it may be that they're not able to get uh, to the event on the, on that evening. Uh, um, or they think that they can't walk in. This is a, yes, we will keep you updated, but we feel there's, that there'll be room for walk-in participation. We encourage you to call to, to register. Uh, if, uh, if you're uncomfortable, I'll be happy to give my cell phone number Go out, uh, which is 508-942-1667. You can call me directly and I'll, and I'll register, register for you. Thanks, That's Stephen. 508-942-1667. Be happy to register. I got the rap sign, so I got to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. But we're glad thank to help you, very you promote much for it. Having, and we'll see and you thank all you there. for doing it. Okay? You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.